What's up everybody, Laszlo here, and welcome to Stories Untold. This is a game that I saw in the Steam Workshop. It seems like a pretty interesting game, has a lot of really good reviews. It's kind of a horror story adventure game, uh, kind of almost like a typeset type of game, like one of those classic type your way adventure games. Uh, and it's got a very 80s vibe uh, about it, from what I can tell. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the first episode, take a look at it, see how this goes. I don't know. Let's see. We'll find out. Hopefully it'll go well. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but uh, let's begin. Let's begin. Let's begin. Let's play a game. We'll play a good game, and it'll be fun. It will be fun. B -b 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 All right. Getting right into it. And even the production here is very 80s, I gotta say. It's kind of a Stranger Things type of vibe about it. So I don't know how much actual like story story there is to this game, but I guess we'll find out. I mean, it's called Stories Untold, so I assume there's gonna there's stories that are probably gonna be told. That's just just a guess, just throwing that out there. All right, what have we got here? Story number one. 10:05 in the p.m. Fire up the old Atari 2600, 3600, something like that. Probably pissed somebody off by not knowing exactly which one's which. Was that like a sequel? 20, 3600, the 2600? Then there's the 5600 that went to the 64? I don't know. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Let's get back to the game. The House Abandoned. Interactive Horror Adventure. Oh, here we go. All right, looks like we're jumping right into it. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. All right, we'll go. oh, can kind of get a little look around here. Can I click on anything? It doesn't really look like it. Oh, 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 we're typing. All right, yep, so it really is like a type your own adventure, so. All right, first things first, we're told to be look in the glove box. All right, so let's look. Uh, in glove box. The glove box is closed, but appears to be unlocked. Can we open glove box? Maybe. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note. What's up, Daddy? What you got to say? The note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. All right, gee, thanks, Dad. I'm so excited. Pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home. Okay, so this is just the same thing. This is just the opening. All right, so we're back out. Uh, what do we do next? Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, go inside. Don't understand. Use key? It's a house key, not a car key. You never were a car. Oh, I'm still in the car. Okay. Uh, get out of car. You open the car door and step out, and it's fascinating. You feel a windy chill down your spine. The house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. All right. Uh, go around house. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. I don't want to use the key. I want to go start the generator. Use key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Open door. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door. However, however there's no power. I can't turn it on. All right. Let's see. Flip switch. I don't know what you're trying to use. Use switch. A click and nothing. There's no power. The notes should say how to restore it. Go to generator. Go outside. You step outside the front door. House is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. Oh. Go to yard. You take a walk around the yard. 
The yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Aw, shucks. Uh, go to generator. Look around. You see a generator? I, I could have just gone to it? Come on, you're killing me, Smalls. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Now can I go to it? Go to generator. You're standing next to the generator. Turn generator on. You switch the generator on and it whirls to life. The house is still dark. Go inside. Go to front door. You walk back around to the front of the house. Back where it all began so long ago. Go inside. You step inside the front door. And feel a switch. Turn on switch. You switch. Picky, I tell you. You flick the switch and the lights come on. It's glorious. I can see clearly now the light is on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Go to the kitchen. Can I get some food? Can I make myself a sandwich? You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to the utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Can I open fridge? Eat a sandwich. All right, it was worth a shot. Go to utility room. The utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Okay, go to hallway, I think. Go back out into the hallway. The hallway is now brightly lit. Go to living room. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. You spend a lot of good time here playing board games with the family, warm and inviting. I don't think we're going to be playing any board games today. Unless anybody wants to play around a Monopoly, and I think I'm good to go. Uh, look around. Is there a key? There's nothing here of interest. Okay. Go to, uh, can I just go straight upstairs? No. Trying to cut out the middleman, that's all. Go to hallway. You go back out to the hallway. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I guess I gotta wait. Impatient. Go upstairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the wall. Images of happy times. Go to bathroom. What's in there? You step inside the bathroom. You are in the bathroom. There's not much to note, but it's all in good order. Use bathroom? No, okay. No fun, all right. Look around. It's clean. A large mirror sits above the sink. Leave. You step back out into the landing. Got a bathroom and mine on my sister's room. Should we go check in on my sister's room first? Let's go see what she's hiding in there. What goodies is she keeping from us? Go to sister's room. You walk into your sister's old room. Your sister's room is in perfect condition. Condition. Talking is hard. Untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is down, drowned under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Look around. There is also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door is slightly ajar. Open wardrobe. It is empty, apart from a pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Look at photos. They are all identical. A forest road at night. You put them back. Eerie. Do, 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 do. All right. You step back out into the landing. I got, I got a trophy. I think I like a trophy and achievement for that too. I don't know what I did, but I guess I could have read it. Eh. 
Uh, go to my room. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift-wrapped box. Open box. You unwrap the gift, excited, giddy even. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer, a Futura 128K plus two. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully, hopefully still works. Yahoo. Oh, changed. On your desk is a Futura 128K plus two computer and a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still to be set up though. Can I look around first? Anything in here? It's a standard bedroom, a desk, wood grain TV, clock, the usual. Set up computer. I actually almost spelled Tor instead of Tor. <laughs> fucking with myself here. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here too. Play game. Do you want to play a game? You put the cassette in the computer and press play. And that happens. Short it out a little on me there. Hello. I just took a little bit of a turn here. I think there's a little something wrong with the image there. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Seems like subliminal messaging to me. Maybe I should listen? You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check in the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Ooh. Well, that's a little different. Uh, open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out of the car, get out of the car, get out of the car, get out, 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 get out. Hmm. And things were going so well. Uh, get out of car. You force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. All right. Go to yard. I assume I still have to turn the generator on. I'm just going to guess. You step through the debris, debris to the back. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around. There's an old generator next to you. Turn on generator. We've got power. It's a good start. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Does it change at all? Just an old generator. Okay. Go to front door. You go back to the front door of the house. It still looks abandoned. Wood to the side, creaky, beat up, trashy, doing swell. Uh, use key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Open door. You reluctantly step inside the front door pitch black, but your sense senses are punished more by the smell, stale air, and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Read note. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. All right, I need the light on, obviously, first. Uh, turn on light. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are stains and trails all over. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I agree with the clock. Stop. Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in the house. It can't be. Go to alarm. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Turn off alarm. 
Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel panic set in. But you're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you can feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. It's bleeding. Throw note away. Okay. Or just, you know, hang on to it. That's normal. Go to kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal, and there is a carcass on the table. There's writing on the wall, and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Read writing. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Stop doing that! With the lightning and the lights and the bangs and the generators. 1986. Well, I guess we know exactly what time we're in now. Uh, go to utility room. The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Force open. Look at X. Leave in general. Gah! Need an L. Leave. You step back out into the hallway. Is there writing on the wall now? In front of my desk? I don't know what that is. I just noticed it. Huh. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. All right. Go to... Oh, wait. Did I look around in the kitchen? I don't want to go back, but... Just to see. I, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Look... Ah. Let's see. Look around. Look around you. All right, I've already seen that, so go to living room. There's no shortcuts here. You go through every step, you hear me? You don't jump around. All right, go, 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 go to living room. You enter the living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Read note again. The note, always changing, now reads, Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Hey, uh, at least they're motivational, you know. Give me a little bit of a little pep talk. Do this, man. Just get through it. Look around. Run down and empty, abandoned, and for good reason. Play board game, is that still an option? No, there's no happiness anymore. It is all gone. Well, that leaves one more place to go. Upstairs, oh, there's little bars on the eyes now on the pictures, you see that? I didn't notice that. Things are changing and not for the better. Go upstairs. You head up the stairs, they creak. Si but different. I hear footsteps. That is creepy. The landing has access to your sister sister's room. Ah! I knocked my camera on that one a little. <laughs> Sorry for a little bump there. Behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can he. Can I click on it? Answer phone? You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Relief. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Go to bath? Or can I look around? I didn't really look around the hallway either, but... The landing is bare and worn. Photos adorn the wall, all misaligned. Aligned photos? <laughs> uh, it's my OCD? Okay, I guess we're not doing that. 
Go to bathroom. You enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Look around. A broken mirror hangs above the dirty sick sink. Taps rusted in position. I'd say the value of our house went down significantly in the last several minutes. All right. Should we go to our sister's room? Go to sister's... Sister's... Room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Go to my room. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Open lock. You grab the lock. His lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and input the code. The note is reacting. Get in the door. Get in the room. Get in. Do it. Go. Four-digit code. Four-digit code. Is it the year? 1980, 1986, right? That was what was written on that wall. gonna happen the lock clicks open same but different the landing has access to your room your sister's room and all the other glorious places that we've been what happens when I open the door 1986 I see the letters and there's somebody behind me go in My room? Go to my... You enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. I hear you breathing. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. End it? You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it! It was all my fault? What did I do? I don't believe you like you mean it. Please. It was all my fault. It was all my fault. Say it! It was all my fault i don't know what i did but it was my fault okay finally finally Ooh. Ooh. oh man that was awesome oh there it is Whoo! Stories Untold, Episode 1. That was not bad. That was actually very interesting. I enjoyed that a lot. That was intense. I don't know if it's as intense to watch, but being there with the sounds right in your ear and feeling like there's somebody right behind you, that was that was pretty awesome. I really enjoyed that. I'm definitely going to jump into to Episode 2. But for now... That will be all for this video. Hopefully you'll come back and join me for the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, I will see you then. And all I gotta say is, well, adios. <laughs>